Now, this Guillain-Barre thing has been blown way, up, way out of proportion. Uh, Guillain-Barre syndrome is a serious neurologic illness. There's no gain saying that. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a neurologic condition which results in uh, weakening of, of, uh, of, the, uh, of your uh, motor function throughout the body. Uh, and uh, it can be fatal even. Uh, uh, it often is reversible. But not always, usually it's reversible. In 1976, uh, you'll notice that 1976 was not a year that was listed in those flu pandemic years. Uh, there was a potential for a pandemic in 1976, and H1N1 arose at Fort Dix in New Jersey, an army training camp. And it was feared that it might spread throughout the, the United States, maybe throughout the world. And I remember this very well. That year also, then, we had the, the, the uh, H1N1 and we had the regular vaccine. And folks were fearful that this might get going. And so there were two shots. And among the people who got the H1N1 shot that year, there was a slightly increased number of cases of Guillain-Barre syndrome compared to what you would expect in the population. Uh, it was in the, in the, in the, on the order of one per 100,000 people immunized. Now, that flu shot that year was not made the way our flu shots are made now. It was made differently. Uh, and um, that was a unique occurrence. And again, to put this in perspective, I mean, what does it mean, one out of 100,000? And since 1976, there's been no, 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 no suggestion that Guillain-Barre syndrome is increased in flu vaccine recipients as opposed to people who haven't gotten the vaccine. So, I mean, let's not blow this out of proportion. I mean, you know, everything we do in life has a certain element of chance and statistics and risk. You, if you want zero risk, I don't know what you can do. 